Elephants give birth. And then doctors realize they are not babies. Every new elephant birth is a cause for celebration. Given the state of the species. Elephants are dying in record numbers due to ivory poaching. But a mother pachyderm from the Mongola Game Reserve in South Africa is doing more than her share to help replenish the species. By giving birth to a strange pair of twins, the reserve spokesperson, Donovan Loy, told Theodo by phone that the two newcomers, first reported last week, appear to be healthy, in the company of their mother a 33-year-old named Kerf. The reaction has been fantastic, Loy states. Everyone feels very positive. And they're getting quite a bit of attention. Here in South Africa, the prevalence of elephant twins is extremely rare. With studies suggesting it happens 0.5% of the time, says Dr. Jonathan Perez an elephant specialist who worked at South Africa's Kruger National Park. Although some cases of twinning have been recorded in Kruger National Park, an examination of the reproductive tracts of over 1,200 adult cows culled in Kruger National Park during population control operations yielded not a single case of twins. Elephant twins are believed to have high suckling ability Perez says. Since the calves often have to compete for their mother's milk, however, he notes that the newborns seem well fed and haven't been observed fighting each other. As the Kruger National Park website reports, when twins are born, other females in the herd take turns nursing them to relieve pressure on their parents. Chloe is optimistic about the twins' future as seen here interacting with their herd near a watering hole on the 18,000 acre reserve. It was a touching moment. Hannah was once an orphaned elephant calf at Kenya's David Sheldrick Trust. But she successfully lived her adult life in the wild. On December 23, 2014, something truly miraculous happened. Hannah, without any provocation, returned to the trust to give birth to her calf. In the company of the caregivers who had been instrumental in raising her. During her formative years, the caregivers were thrilled and amazed by Hannah's decision to share this intimate moment. So rarely witnessed by humans, Hannah knew firsthand that these caregivers would keep her and her baby safe from predators. Seconds after giving birth, the joyful ex-orphan herd gathered around, eager to help lift her precious baby Maria to her feet. Using their trunks, they gently hoisted her. Hannah herself was orphaned as a baby. When she fell into a pit latrine in 1993, though her family was taken from her at a young age, she now has two daughters. Maria became the younger sister of Eva who was born in 2008. She was admitted to the rehabilitation center of the foundation to embark on her journey back to the wild. Over time, she became a strong matriarch in the wild elephant community, leading and guiding the younger orphans that were part of her orphan herd. The birth of Maria ecstatically united the other ex-orphan elephants. There is nothing they enjoy more than babies. And now they have another they can call their own. It's amazing to see the other elephants gather around Hannah to show their support for this mother and celebrate the arrival of the newborn. Another miracle has occurred. Elephants are famous for their long memory. But now they'll be known for their long pregnancies. The stoic Asian elephant Isaiah carried her baby for 700 days, 84 more than average, and finally gave birth at the Bedford CSL Web Zoo last Tuesday. It's believed to be the longest pregnancy ever recorded in the British Zoo. Nearly two months longer than the usual 22-month gestation period. The calf, weighing just 104 kilograms at birth, 
Is Vim Snape smallest ever? Caretakers were so concerned about the tiny size of the newborn. Who is yet to be named? That they thought it might not be able to reach the mother's milk. But the clever calf. Aziza's third. Soon figured it out. Learning to stand on tiptoes. Elephant caretaker Lee Steenbrook says. Masiza took to her straight away. And the rest of the herd is thrilled to be near a baby and touch it. Elephants are social animals. And young ones joining the herd is what an elephant's life is about. The calf is already coming out of the barn with the rest of the herd. And visitors are flocking to see it play with its siblings and nurse from its mother. Who won't soon forget the lengthy pregnancy. It's been an incredible moment. An elephant has been filmed giving birth in the wild in South Africa. In incredibly rare footage. The footage. Captured by Adam and posted on Facebook. By Shows Africa Nationals shows a pregnant elephant giving birth to her calf. Surrounded by her herd. Amazing sighting of an elephant giving birth. This morning we had the privilege of witnessing the birth and interactions with the rest of the herd. About 60 elephants and the electric atmosphere they created with their vocalizations and stomach rumbles. A once-in-a-lifetime show, Fillmore wrote. In the caption of the video posted on the Roar White Life News Facebook page. Elephants are highly social animals. So births are special occasions. Often. Other members of the herd participate in caring. For and raising the calves. In addition to the mother. Diego. On the ground operations director of the elephant conservation charity. Six to elephants told Newsweek that these images are wonderful and rare. While elephant births are common. Seeing one in the wild is a special event. This is because most elephants give birth at night. And births are incredibly swift. They usually last just a few minutes. Diego states. Elephants are similar to humans in that. They share a range of emotions. In the footage. You can see the rest of the family touching trunks. In celebration and attempting to interact with the newborn. The protective and stressed mother shakes her head. Throws dust and digs. Possibly trying to shield her calf from being trampled in the excitement. When the calf is born. The mother gently pushes it with her foot to ensure it's alive. Trumpeting from the other elephants is heard shortly after birth. The mother touches the calf with her trunk. As it starts moving under the amniotic sac. The calf can be seen moving its legs underneath the sack. The mother begins to throw dust on the calf. While other members of the herd gather around. Save the elephants observed elephants. From the Samburu National Reserve in northern Kenya. Our researchers have also seen similar excited elephant behavior. During family gatherings and encounters. In 2014. One of our team members was fortunate to witness the birth of an elephant in the Samburu National Reserve, explains Bajin. In 2009, a member of the public filmed Annabel from the Royals, giving birth to a calf they later named Toto Rath. It was surely a beautiful and memorable experience they'll never forget. It was a striking moment. A baby elephant calf was trampled to death by its mother moments after giving birth. A first-time mother. The calf stomped on her newborn at a zoo in Holly, Germany, before caregivers could intervene. Bibi became distressed after giving birth to the calf and initiated the brutal attack. She stomped on the calf before flinging its body with her trunk. Caregivers weren't expecting trouble. As Bibi was an experienced mother and the calf was her third. Both animal lovers and people across Germany were eagerly anticipating the birth of the new calf.
The zoo is home to four cows and a male elephant. Their enclosure has an outdoor area of 3,000 square meters. And a pool for the African elephant Bovu and the elephants Matufu, Tana, Bibi and Kafania. The gruesome incident echoed a similar one in China last week. Where zookeepers were forced to intervene. After an elephant's attempted to fatally trample. Her calf shortly after giving birth. At first. The keepers thought it was an accident. They took the calf away to treat its injuries. And returned it to the mother two hours later. But she started stomping on it again. The keepers scared her away and took the small elephant with them. The rejected calf cried for five hours as staff. At the Shindao Wildlife Animal Reserve. In the Ranchindan province tried to comfort it. Rejection at birth causes extreme psychological distress in elephants. Wildlife trusts state that for elephants. Being part of a family group is crucial. And they need privacy, companionship. And solace to be stable. Psychological fixation can trigger potentially lethal issues. Like diarrhea in nursing elephants. Who are extremely vulnerable during their milk dependent period. They are guaranteed to be tactile and sensitive. And need a human surrogate family to provide. Care and attention around the clock. Orphaned elephants are normally reintroduced. Into the wild once they have grown. And are considered ready to successfully integrate into a herd. The baby elephant that cried after the ruthless attack. By its mother moved millions of people. Who witnessed its distress in a video. It's now progressing well and has been adopted by a caregiver. Elephants are prey animals. So the survival of newborns depends. On how quickly they can walk independently. That's why the mother carries the fetus. Until it's developed enough to use its senses. And legs to detect predators and run when needed. This is why many large prey animals have long gestation periods. Smaller prey may build a nest or dig a hole. For their young to continue developing. Predators face the opposite problem. As they need to fight to kill their prey. Their pregnancy would be at risk if they were injured during hunting. Even a single kick to the stomach could prematurely end the pregnancy. Hence, most predators have a short gestation period. And their offspring often are born blind, dead, and unable to walk much. Even humans have a shorter than average gestation time. As the newborn is unable to walk. Chimpanzee and gorilla babies are more developed than humans at birth. This is also related to the mother's need to shed the extra weight. As soon as possible since her environment compels her to be active. An adult female elephant has no predators except humans who hunt them. Therefore, the gestation period can be long. Size matters less as elephants are pregnant for nearly 24 months. While large sperm whales have gestation periods of 19 months. Still, whales are larger than elephants. However, they swim more easily than they walk. So a whale calf doesn't need to develop as much as an elephant calf. It all depends on how long a species can afford to carry its offspring inside. Elephants are not hunted. So their gestation time can be long. Resulting in better developed calves at birth. Many tales and legends about elephants are told. From ancient times to today. In many different languages and across diverse cultures. What's most revealing about these stories is that. They often don't focus on their incredible size and strength. As that's obvious. Instead. They all enthusiastically highlight the great intelligence. Formidable memory. And complex nature of these gentle giants. After uploading the video. The shelter also wants people to share it so that as many people as possible can see it. They hope that if enough people see the video, 
someone will step up and even adopt AJ and Toby. So that the two dogs can stay together. In a more comfortable place and relieve their separation anxiety. It didn't take long for this video to attract wide attention. The video was posted online on February 2, 2016. In just a few hours. It has garnered millions of views and reactions from around the world. Internet users were heartbroken when they saw the grieving dog. And many left comments about his love and support. The shelter was overwhelmed by many people's sympathy for the poor abandoned puppy. Their plan worked better than they thought. Millions of people around the world have seen their plea for help. So there must be someone who can do something. For the abandoned dog and his brother. And although AJ is well publicized, the dog himself does not know he is in the spotlight. Instead, the animal cried all day and all night, only hoping that his master would come back, and that he could live a normal life with his younger brother. Sadly, AJ will never return to his original family life. But someone wanted to help the puppy. After crying in the kennel for a few days, something incredible happened. AJ found a new home. It turned out that someone saw the video footage of the poor puppy in despair and knew they had to help. Just days after the video went viral, the man headed to the animal shelter in search of AJ. Upon arriving at the building, the man explained to the staff that he had seen the clip and that he wanted to adopt AJ and let him live a better life. Because they really couldn't bear to see the animal so heartbroken. The staff were excited to hear the news. They breathed a sigh of relief that their plan worked. They are eager to show the man to AJ in the hope that the dog will also accept his potential new owner. After hours of greeting and getting to know each other, the new owner made up his mind. They found their own dog. They then had to leave so they could fill out all the necessary paperwork for them to formally adopt AJ. It didn't take long for AJ to finally set foot on his way to his forever new home. After the dog was officially adopted, the shelter posted another post on their Facebook page to update those eager to know what happened to AJ. The post featured a picture of the puppy and read, This beautiful woman has touched the hearts of many people. Today she is lucky to be free to walk out of the shelter. Even when she has a cold. AJ must have pulled himself together. And now he has left his kennel and returned to a loving home. But the shelter wanted to make sure the dog was as happy as possible. Because the dog had been handed over to another shelter. They decided to try to send Toby to theirs. So that AJ and his brother could be reunited. They need to bring Toby back to their shelter. Before he can be adopted into the same family as AJ. So the family can see the animal and get to know him a little. Before deciding to adopt two dogs. In addition, the shelter can assess the puppy's behavior and health. And if he can't go home with AJ. They can let him be adopted by the perfect family. Thankfully. The staff was able to adapt Toby to his new environment. Although it did take a lot of patience and love to do so. Eventually. The puppy calmed down and was adopted by the same loving family. Thanks to the staff at Carson's shelter. And the good people who adopted AJ and Toby. These cute puppies have a second life.